Hello and welcome to a new video. I know it has been a while if you're a follower, but I am trying to research some topics and I find it very hard finding the right balance between mapping and reading in favor of mapping. So the reading is taking too long. So bear with me. So I thought I'd throw this one in. This is going to be about milk churn stands, as you can see in the title. I came across one too, actually, in Tullahocht, where I went recently on a, I don't want to call it a hike, it's really too short, in my opinion, to be a hike, a walk up Kilmac Oliver Hill. Um, they had recently, I don't know how recently, the hiking trail has been changed a bit, split into two, and we walked the longer one, um, which is called the Summit Loop. So it starts in Tullahocht, and if you're interested, you can go there. But we came across these two milk churn stands, and I've seen them before, but I never really thought about them that much. Kind of a little bit when I was doing the creamery video. Well, there were actually a couple of creamery videos, if you want to watch them. They're on the channel, and I'll link one of them up in the corner. And uh, milk churn stands, as if you're Irish or if you're from some rural area somewhere, you know that that's where people left their milk churns when they were still manually milking the cows. They left the milk churns on those milk churn stands and then they were brought to the creamery to be made into cheese or butter or whatever. And the one in Tullahoch, the one I took a picture of, is this one. And I uploaded the picture to Wikimedia. And if you want to follow my example, please do. And if you go to wikimedia.ie in the month of March, you'll see that the Wiki Loves Folklore 2023 is still on. And if you upload it in that category using that uploader here, following this link, you're entering the photo competition for Wiki Loves Folklore because milk churns are folklore. And you might stand a chance to win a prize. So please do that. And if you're watching this after March 2023, just keep the pictures for next year because this competition is on every year in February. Sometimes they extend it into March. So like this year. So if you go to wikimedia.ie, you'll find the uploader there and it'll guide you through it. So I took a picture of this one because I thought it might be an entry into Wiki Loves Folklore and because they had made such an effort. Um, you often see milk churns on the milk churn stands and sometimes they're painted. The other one in Tullahawk is painted with some hurling motif. That's probably why I didn't take a picture of it because I have no interest in hurling, even though that is probably folklore too. But I've just such an aversion to sports, I didn't take a picture. Um, so this one isn't painted. It has a number on it. I don't know if the number means anything, if someone from Tullahocht wants to comment below. But I really liked how they... I'm just going to click on it to get it a little bit bigger. And then that's very slow today. But I really liked how they made this display. They used the bucket and hung it in the tree and I used some white plastic to um, pretend it's milk that's being poured into the milk churn. I thought that's a really nice idea. And they also have a little um, A4 sheet here that explains the history of this milk churn stand. And um, it says something about the milk still being milked by hand until the 1970s here, and that the milk was brought to Wine Gap Creamery. So I put that in the description of the picture. Um, if you do take pictures of milk churn stands, if you have the time, it'd be nice if you did add the information which creamery it served, because that'd be interesting to know for later, for other people coming along. And yeah, so this is the one I chose and we will map it. And it is actually the first one that is ever going to be mapped in the whole wide world. I checked earlier and nobody has ever thought about mapping these. But I think they have their place in the landscape and in her they are heritage. There's no doubt in my mind about that. I won't use a historic tag for reasons. Um, so it's this farm here. There's also a wayside shrine nearby, and it's roughly here. So the tag I want to use is man-made milk churn stand. It's a bit of a mouthful, but that's that's what it's called. So I think it's roughly here. 
So I set a note and I go, either I have to scroll down to point, usually, but I must have used the point recently, so it's up at the second one. And I just type in man made and then type very slowly because my fingers, when I start typing C-H-U-R, they want to type church because they're so used to typing the word church in that combination. So I really have to concentrate not to type church. So milk underscore churn underscore stand. Milk churn stand. Milk. Okay. So it only gets this symbol here because it's not an established tag. As I said, this is the first one ever to be mapped. I'll add the survey date as well. So survey colon date. I think it was last Sunday, the 5th. And that's really all you can do. But I can add an image. So Wikimedia comments, and I'll just use this image here. Copy this line and put that in. That's all I can think. Well, you could use this used equals yes, because nobody uses them anymore. And that's the first one. And the other one is opposite the pub. Here. In this corner. So you can't see them on satellite view. Because they're, they're usually going to be they're too small. And they're usually going to be covered up by some um, trees. So man made milk underscore churn underscore stand. Survey date 2023 0305. And there I don't have an image, so um, I won't use an image. I can add a description here um, to, if I remember correctly, to milk churns painted with hurling motifs or something like that. So, Shane will add it to milk churn stance source survey. That's all I can do. That's all you have to do. It's really simple um, and it's really nice for beginners, I would think. You know, if you, you can't really do much damage in adding in an old milk churn stand. The reason why I don't want to use historic. I would like to use a historic um, key instead of man-made, but a lot of people think that things like this, like I've seen this argument um, in the OpenStreetMap community saying just because something is old and disused doesn't mean it's historic. True, but I still think milk churn stands, for example, are historic, they're heritage. But I don't want to bring those people up against me, so that's why I'm using man-made, like we use with water wells, even though they're just as historic as milk churn stands. But I have a different definition of historic than um, some people in the OpenStreetMap community, but everybody has their opinion and they're entitled to it. So I'm, I'm you know, just succumbing to this kind of opinion. And I check the NIAH, the National Index of Architectural Heritage, because sometimes they have categories that um, you wouldn't expect you know, from an OpenStreetMap perspective, from this kind of argument, you wouldn't expect them to be historic, like those village pumps. But they have a category on the National Index of Architectural Heritage in Ireland for village pumps, and they also have them for ventilation pipes. Um, I did a short video about those. If you go through my um, videos, the shorts, I did one there. Maybe I'll do a longer one at some point. And they're not consistent about um, putting them on the index, the National Index of Architectural Heritage. There are two in Freshford, for example, that are of those sewage vents that are on the index, but there are a lot in Kilkenny and in Callan that aren't. So I don't know how that's decided. But they're considered part of the built heritage in Ireland. Milk churn stands aren't. I don't know why. 
maybe because they're just, you know, just built by a farmer. There's no special architecture or manufacturer behind it like you would have with um, the village pumps or the sewage pipes. They come from some foundry and you have a manufacturer stamp on them and stuff like that. Maybe that's why. I don't know. That's all I wanted to show you. There's a lot more to see in Tullahoch. It's worth a day trip or, well, maybe a couple of hours. Um, there's an old smithy here that has a little plaque and a picnic table. And I actually found two field names as well on Dukas. So the moat, I hope I got it right. Um, on Dukas it says the field behind the smithy. And this is one smithy. And this is the other smithy. So it kind of has to be this field. Um, it's just the moat or the mot isn't in that field. But I've explained that before in videos about field names. It doesn't always have to be. It can be the adjoining field. And then they're talking about this well here which I had changed a bit around because I did further research and I realized I had gotten it wrong. So there's a fountain here, um, or a well, but I think if it's continuously flowing, it's a fountain. And if you have to pump it, it's a well. I don't know. Um, but there is a well here, apparently, and it has a name. I don't know. I think um, I put it down under old name because I wasn't sure if people still use it. So the old name is Croak's Well. If there are people in Tullahort, who can confirm that this is still what it's called, they can change that to name instead of old name. But that's again the name I found in the school's collection, which is, you know, from the 1930s, so that's quite old. So almost 100 years now. She knew well. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon, hopefully, fingers crossed, in another video. Slangerful.